Where you're stashing different foods inside your fridge directly affects how long they last. Storing foods in the wrong places can lead to premature spoiling. Here's how you should organise your fridge to maximise freshness and longevity. Keep dairy products at the back of the fridge. Admit it, if your fridge was opened right now, the milk would be in the door. One of the most common places to stash milk and dairy products, like butter, is inside the front of the refrigerator door. It seems like the perfect place. It's quick, it's convenient, and you can always grab it quickly if you want a cuppa. But did you know that putting your milk in the fridge door can turn it bad quicker? The fridge door gets opened frequently throughout the day, meaning the milk can get exposed to inconsistent temperatures. Every time the door opens, the milk gets hit with warm air. To avoid these temperature swings and keep the milk at its prime for longer, take the milk out of the door. Instead, store it on the bottom shelf and place it at the back of the fridge. Separate fruits and veggies. Plenty of people keep everything in the fridge, but not all fruits and vegetables actually belong here. Certain kinds thrive outside the fridge. For the fruits and veggies that you are putting in the fridge, you need to know which ones should be stored together and which ones should be separated. You can organise your fridge produce into two groups, those that produce gas and those that are sensitive to gas. One makes the other ripen and spoil faster. So if you keep these two kinds of produce together, you'll find that some fruits and vegetables wind up going bad in no time at all. It's best to keep gas producing fruits like apples, pears, bananas, mangoes on the counter outside of your fridge. Gas sensitive fruits and veggies can stay inside the refrigerator in your crisper drawer. These include broccoli, carrots, cucumbers and lettuce. Now, if you need to keep both in your fridge, put some space between them. You can place the producers on your top shelf and stash the sensitive items in your drawers. Put meat where your fridge is the coldest. Fresh or raw meats like beef, poultry or seafood need to be carefully stored in your refrigerator to prevent potential spoilage. When stored improperly, these foods can develop a dangerous bacteria and they will spoil quickly. So, to prolong their lifespan and keep them at the right temperature, keep the meat inside its packaging and place it in the coldest spot in the fridge. In some refrigerators, this is at the bottom shelf at the very back. However, in other refrigerators, the coldest spot is on the top shelf. Use a thermometer to determine where your coldest spot is and make sure that's your go-to fresh meat storage destination. To find the coldest locations, you'll also want to look out for your refrigerator's vent placement. There are often vents at the back of the fridge that you can't easily spot and placing food near these vents keep them extra cold. If your refrigerator is fancy enough to have a temperature controlled drawer just for meat, then that's a great place to keep it. Rotate older food to the front. Once you've rearranged the food inside your fridge, you should also make sure to reorganize or rotate your food every so often. As you purchase new items and add them to the fridge, make sure to bring the old items to the front and put the new items at the back. It's easier to grab items you can see and reach without disorganising your entire fridge. So if you buy a new carton of milk before the old one is finished, make sure to bring the old one to the front to make sure it's visible. You can do the same with leftovers, eggs, meat or anything else to make sure you eat it before it spoils.